it's Trina and this is part three of my 1k Q&A. I have already answered the book related questions and the book two related questions and this video is for all of the personal questions like travel and hobbies and I've had to split the videos because I got so many questions. Thank you once again to everyone who asked the question and my first question is from Holly who says, sorry I hope you don't think I'm ignorant but I watched a couple of your videos and couldn't figure it out. Um, what's your name? <laughs> hey guys, I'm Trina. Hey guys, it's Trina, 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 Trina. That was my friend Holly asking that question, so she is fully aware of what my name is. But there you go. Aina asks, do you have any siblings and how old are you? I am 30, I just turned 30 a couple of months ago, and I am an only child. Kayla Rain asks, would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? I actually have been to both Alaska and Hawaii. I've never been outside of the United States, but I've hit those two states. I'm not sure if Kayla asked this question because she knew I had been to both of them and was wondering which one I would go back to, like which one I thought was better. But I've been to Alaska because I have family that lives there and so we've been able to go up and stay with them. And Alaska it's just gorgeous and there's a lot of tourism up there but it still has a small town feel and I just feel like people really miss out when they kind of discredit Alaska like oh it's too cold. The times that I've been to Alaska have been in the middle of summer. It was actually hotter there than it was here in Tennessee which doesn't doesn't make any sense but it can be very warm there and then the other times I went was kind of closer to fall and it was like in the 70s and you do so much outdoor activity there and it was just beautiful amazing weather it's not all snowed in and igloos and stuff like that Anchorage and Denali which is Mount McKinley and the Kenai Peninsula are kind of the areas that I've been to so it is like southern Alaska but there's so much to do in Alaska I would go back in a heartbeat absolutely as for Hawaii I went to Hawaii on my honeymoon and Hawaii Hawaii is absolutely beautiful. We stayed on Oahu, which is the um, island where the capital is, Honolulu, and to me, Honolulu and Waikiki are just way too overcrowded with tourists, and it was very, really hard to get around, really hard to get into and do things. It was just so packed. And the North Shore was just amazingly peaceful and incredible beaches. I would love, love, love to go back to Hawaii. It's such a hard choice because Hawaii has that sentimental value. Like, it would be great for like an anniversary trip. But then Alaska is like just this most beautiful place. And I feel like I would rather go back to Alaska. I could go like every year of my entire life and never get bored of it. Long story short, I would pick Alaska. Um, and then Kayla also asked if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would love to go anywhere, but I guess if I had to pick like top one spot, that has always kind of been a dream of mine. I would love to go to Italy. I've always wanted to go there and have never had the opportunity to. And going along with that, Hi I Love Books asks, what are the top three countries you would like to visit? So number one would be Italy just because I feel like that's like my number one place I've always wanted to go. It seems so romantic. I would also love to go to Japan. I love the culture of Japan and it seems like such a beautiful place and I have a friend that lives there that I would love to be able to go and visit someday. And the third place I would probably choose Scotland. Going along with that, the book fox asked me, when are you coming to Scotland? Right now! <laughs> I wish it was right now. Someday I will be in Scotland and don't worry, I will come and find you. <laughs> the book fox also asked, I would love to learn more about your kitty and if you have any other pets. I have one cat, his name is Pickles, and he is actually an only child. Um, when I met my husband, he had two cats that he'd had since they were kittens. So Pickles used to have a sister, but unfortunately she passed away from kidney disease right after we got married. We don't have any plans for adopting another pet right now. He is a handful, he is very, very loud, he meows all hours of the day and night. He's a very spoiled cat, he loves food way too much. He is just, he's very vocal, hungry kitty. When my husband got him, his name was actually originally Simba, but then when I came into the picture and first met the cats, he has a little mustard stain on his cheek, so I started calling him Colonel Mustard, and then that changed, and I was calling him Senior Gato, and then that changed, and somehow it became Pickles, so he is the cat of many names. He's just a big, lazy, needy furball, and we love him so much. Back to another question from Hi I Love Books. She asks, 
What is your favorite food or type of food? Leah, you know how much I love burritos. I don't know, I would probably go with sweets because I do have such a horrible sweet tooth. My favorite restaurant is Maggiano's Little Italy. I really love their mushroom ravioli and their tiramisu is the best that I've ever tried. So let's just go with that as favorite food, favorite restaurant instead. She also asks, who is your favorite Disney princess? Definitely Princess Ariel. I love mermaids. I've always loved mermaids. David Reed's words asked, what is the funniest story you can tell us? One time in college, I had a big crush on this guy that was in one of my classes and I knew where he worked. So one day when I was there, I saw him standing there with his back turned to me, of course, and I went up to him and I just tapped him on the shoulder and when he turned around, I was like, hey, and it totally was not the guy. It was not him. It was just someone that like had the same kind of hair and same build as him. And so this guy turns around and looks at me and is like, hi. And I had no idea what to do. So I was like, oh, well, I just wanted to say hi. And then I walked away. I had no clue how to recover that. It was really super awkward. But back to the guy that I liked. One day I was in my dorm room and I saw him walking down the sidewalk outside of my dorm room. And I was on the phone with one of my friends. And I was like, I got to go. The guy I like is walking past my dorm room. I got to run down there and say hey to him. So I hung up, ran outside. He's several yards away now. So I'm following him throughout campus. He turns around and it's not the guy, like it's the same guy from the workplace. And that's how I accidentally stalked a guy in college. Kale's Corner asked, what is your favorite word and why? Well, my husband says that my favorite word is turd because <laughs> I call him and call the cat turd all the time. Like if they're doing something they shouldn't supposed to be, I'm like, quit being a turd. <laughs> so I guess it's turd. Um, I also really love the word grumpaloose, which is a nickname that I call my cat. It's not a real word. It just means you're being a grump. And I just fancified it because fancified is also a word. Mm -hmm. Chic Nerd Reads asked, what is your dream career? I would love to be a professional paid Netflix watcher or a professional reader or honestly I really just would love to have the job of being a mom. She also asks what is your favorite quote general or from a book? The favorite quotes that have always come to my mind for a question like this are from The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings because I can't talk about those enough but I really love the quote if more of us valued food and cheer and song over hoarded gold it would be a merrier world and also I've always had a soft spot for for all that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wander are lost, the old that is strong does not wither, deep roots are not reached by the frost. Chic Nerd Reads also asks, what motto do you live by? Um, I don't think that I have a specific motto other than, oh, there's always going to be time for that, which just sounds like the Procrastinators Anonymous motto, but um, something that I tell myself a lot to help me get through very anxious situations because I do struggle with anxiety, especially about going or doing something that is really out of the norm for me, I just have to start telling myself that you will get through this and tomorrow this will just all be a memory. It's just going to be a memory and it can't affect me after that. So that's something that I have found very helpful in recent years, although I don't know that I would say it was a motto, but it is something that I try to keep in mind during certain situations. Joe's12340 asks, what is your all-time favorite movie? I so do not know what my favorite movie is. I don't think that I am a big like film buff or anything. Thing, but one that I used to always claim as my favorite was Memoirs of a Geisha. He also asks, what was your favorite after school activity in high school? And I was in the drama club. I actually was not an actor. My freshman year, I was part of the stage crew. And then the other three years of high school, I ran the soundboard and we did four plays a year. So that was about 16 plays I was active in. And I also did the sound for other like after school programs like prom, fashion show, and choral events. Um, I really loved doing that. I thought that that was what I wanted to do as a career back when I was in high school. Joe's12340 also asked, how long have you been married and how long have you known your husband? We have been married for three and a half years, coming up on four years, and I've known him for one year longer than that, so about five years. I met my husband online, so our first date was the first time I actually met him. It was the best first date of my life. He is an amazing guy and I had dated quite a bit, so I knew very very early on that this guy was different than all the rest and that he was the right match for me and he proposed eight months into our relationship and we had a three and a half month engagement because when you know you just know and Jones1234 also asked vanilla or chocolate 
favorite ice cream flavor. In general, I would go with vanilla because you can add like any flavor you want to to it. Favorite ice cream flavor is probably cookie dough because I love cookies. <laughs> My name is Marinez asks, what is your biggest non-book related pet peeve? People. <laughs> Spoilers for HBO TV shows, because not everybody has HBO to watch it live. Mistaking the word apart for a part. People often say, thank you for letting me be a part of your day, but it's one word. So basically you're saying the exact opposite of what you meant to say. Amber asks, do you have any other hobbies like crafts that you enjoy? I do draw a little bit. Don't know if it's really considered drawing because it's more like typography and like hand lettering. I've been trying to work on that for about a year or two. Um, I did used to draw a lot like in high school, but I don't actually draw like pictures really anymore. I used to scrapbook but have really fallen away from that. Sometimes, very occasionally, I will make like a bookmark or something for friends. Actually, I can show you one. Oh no, it was my favorite bookmark that I dropped! No! I made a little felt bookmark for a few of my friends a couple of years ago for Valentine's Day. Uh, I don't know. I do craft occasionally, but I don't do one thing consistently. Other hobbies, I've always loved to cook, and I kind of play video games. It just really depends on what the game is, because I've really fallen out of that recently. My husband is much more the gamer than I am, but I do still play The Sims 4, um, not as often as I used to, but I have always liked The Sims games, so I guess that kind of counts as a hobby that I do other than reading, but really reading and video making are my biggest hobbies hobbies at the moment. And last question is from Karis who asks if you could pick any actress to play you in a movie about your life, who would it be? I would pick Erica Christensen. She most recently was in Parenthood, although I didn't watch Parenthood, but I'm specifically talking about years ago when I was thinner and she was a little bit heavier when she was in movies like Swim Fan and Traffic. There was something about her eyes or her face and I would have people in high school tell me that I looked a lot like her and now I can't unsee it. This is purely on looks alone. I can't really speak for her acting skills because I haven't seen like her most recent work. So those are all the Q&A questions that I got. I hope that I have answered these to the extent that you wanted. And I have a question for you guys. What do you enjoy doing in your free time outside of reading? Let me know that down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye! Oh,